Hey everyone, in this problem we have an infinite sum. So whenever you have an infinite sum, you should always immediately look at this piece here and ask yourself, what does it look like? Well, when n is big, so right now we have 2 to the n plus 1 over 5 to the n plus 1. And so when n is big, we can pretty much ignore the 1s. So this behaves like 2 to the n over 5 to the n. And this is the same thing as 2 over 5 to the n. So this behaves like a geometric series, so this should converge. So we have to compare it to a geometric series. That would be one way to do the problem. Um, the problem is this 1 up here, so using direct comparison might be a little more difficult. So let's take the approach of using limit comparison, so solution. So for limit comparison, we pick our a sub n which is whatever's in the series. So a sub n will be 2 to the n plus 1 over 5 to the n plus 1. And our b sub n, well, we already picked it, right? We're going to compare it to this. So basically, you take the uh, fastest growing terms and you take the ratio, so just these two here. So b sub n will be 2 to the n over 5 to the n. And we know that's the same as this. Okay, I'm leaving it like this just for comparison purposes. Then uh, limit comparison says that we take the limit of the ratio. So if we take the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n divided by b sub n. So if we get a, a positive number, in other words, if the limit is finite and positive, that means that our sum and the sum of these terms here will either both converge or diverge. But since the sum of these terms converges, because it's geometric, our series will also converge by limit comparison. So let's take the limit. So LIM, n going to infinity. I'm going to go ahead and replace a sub n with what it is. So it's 2 to the n plus 1 over 5 to the n plus 1. Now we're dividing by b sub n. And so when you do that, you're really multiplying by the reciprocal. So this will be 5 to the n over 2 to the n. And now you see it's pretty clear that this limit is going to be 1, right? Because when n is big, you can ignore the 1s, and it's kind of like we get uh, 5 to the n over 5 to the n, 2 to the n over 2 to the n. So the limit is just going to be 1, which is finite. And positive. So the limit comparison test applies. I'll say so LCT applies. If it wasn't clear um, that the limit is 1, you know, you could, you could show an extra step. You could write it like this. You could distribute the 5 to the n. It's not really necessary, but you could do it. You could write it like this, 2 to the n times 5 to the n plus 5 to the n, right? Distributing the 5 to the n to both terms. Then doing the same thing in the denominator. Um, in the denominator, you would get uh, f 2 to the n. I'll put the 2 to the n first. 5 to the n plus 2 to the n. And this, this here grows faster than anything else. So these are the same. So it's kind of like they cancel. And as n gets big, the ratio approaches, approaches 1. All right, limit comparison applies. So that means that our series and the sum of the b's will either both converge or diverge. So now we have to explain why the sum of the b's converges. So since the infinite sum, as n runs from 0 to infinity, uh, I'm going to write it like this, 2 fifths to the n is a convergent geo series. And it's good to explain why. Here r is equal to 2 fifths. And the absolute value of r is less than 1. That means it converges by the geometric series test. Remember, if, r is, if the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1, it will diverge. If the absolute value of r is less than 1, it will converge. So this series converges. right? This series converges. So by limit comparison, our series should converge as well. So by LCT, our original series, I'll just say our OG series, OG means original, converges as well. So it also converges uh, by limit comparison. And what does limit comparison say? Well, it says that 
when you take this limit, if you get a positive number, that a sub n and b sub n grow at the same rate. So because they grow at the same rate, both series will either converge or diverge. That's it. I hope this video uh, has helped someone out there.